Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown, hot off the heels of the All-Star kickoff last week in Las Vegas. And as the road to the Royal Rumble continues, Friday Night Smackdown makes a pit stop in Salt Lake City tonight. And later this evening in your main event, we are going to determine the first number one contender for the new World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Tonight, John Cena. Drew McIntyre, it's the franchise versus the Scottish Warrior. The winner is on their way to the Royal Rumble to challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you to earlier today. Seth Rollins, the world champion, arrived in the arena and was meant by his former disciple, Buddy Murphy. Cameras catching up with these guys brawling in the parking garage. And again, this is all due to Seth Rollins turning his back on the man that he brought back to WWE earlier this year. Murphy, who was also drafted to Friday Night SmackDown a number of weeks ago, has been chomping at the bit to get his hands on Seth Rollins. Rollins left the All-Star kickoff last week, the new World Heavyweight Champion, but I don't think Murphy gave a damn. Waited for Seth Rollins to pull up in the parking lot. Murphy wanted to get his hands on the World Heavyweight Champion and absolutely did a number on the visionary of the WWE. And this has led to Murphy being scheduled to action in moments here on Friday Night SmackDown, but you see the assault continued. This is weeks of pent-up anger and aggression. Murphy finally trying to get his hands on a man who you could say has been ducking him for weeks here on SmackDown, that being Seth Rollins. And you see the brawl just continue. This is earlier today when Rollins arrived here in Salt Lake City. Murphy doing a number of the new World Heavyweight Champion in the parking garage earlier today here at SmackDown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to kick things off inside the arena with that man himself. As we mentioned, the former disciple of Seth freaking Rollins, Buddy Murphy, is in the house in Salt Lake City and is set for his first matchup, a part of the Friday Night SmackDown roster. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia. Weighing in at 213 pounds, Murphy! Of course, the whole situation between Murphy and Rollins broke down a number of months ago when Rollins turned his back on his former disciple. Now, this, is when the, this isn't the first time that Rollins has kicked Murphy to the side, but it was earlier this year that Rollins gave Murphy a second chance. He brought Murphy back to the WWE to be by his side, but essentially Seth Rollins blames his old disciple for the reason that Rollins had a, a lackluster summer and fall here in the WWE, loss after loss to Mustafa Ali and Rob Van Dam, and things were just not going well for Seth Rollins and decided to take it out on Buddy Murphy. Obviously, Rollins has been on his own here on Friday Night SmackDown as of late, just won the World Heavyweight Championship last week. Maybe it was all mental games, maybe it wasn't, but nonetheless, Murphy has got his hands full tonight in Salt Lake City, Utah. And his opponent, Representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, the almighty Bobby Lashley is going to be ticked off walking into SmackDown tonight. You know, it was two weeks ago, or excuse me, three weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown that Lashley lost to Drew McIntyre for a chance to battle for the World Championship last week. Lashley, however, did find himself in an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal last week at the All-Star kickoff, made it down to the final two, but Mustafa Ali sending Lashley over the top rope and Mustafa Ali leaving Las Vegas, Nevada, the new WWE United States Champion. So Bobby Lashley, oh, wait a minute here, Murphy, Lashley's got his back turned, but well, Murphy's got a point to prove tonight, not waiting for the bell. And the bell has sounded. We are underway here on Friday Night SmackDown. Buddy Murphy versus Bobby Lashley. Murphy looking to prove a point tonight. Lashley looking to get back in the winning ways. Obviously the best kept secret of the WWE. Buddy Murphy fired up tonight. Met Seth Rollins in the parking garage earlier today. As you saw, an absolute beatdown on the World Heavyweight Champion. But Murphy's been chomping at the bit to, to or I should say, to give to Seth Rollins. Now he's got his hands full of Bobby Lashley tonight. Got to stay focused, got to keep his mind on the almighty. And as we mentioned, Bobby Lashley, two consecutive losses here on Friday Night SmackDown. You know Lashley not going to want to make it a third. 
Those two losses also coming after a hurt business really dissembled because of the WWE draft a number of weeks ago. And then remember back on Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, the hurt business lost to AJ Styles, Damian Priest, and Dominic Dijakovic in that six man tag team elimination matchup. So things have not been going well for Bobby Lashley as of late. They're going to bounce back here tonight, but Murphy coming out motivated, kicking out the legs of Bobby Lashley. What a pump kick by the best kept secret. Murphy, no slouch inside the squared circle. Former NXT Tag Team Champion, former Monday Night Raw Tag Team Champion, as well as a former Cruiserweight Champion here in the WWE. Murphy obviously trying to prove a point tonight that he is ready to step foot in the ring with the new World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Murphy going to the top. Lashley trying to meet him there, but Murphy coming off the top. Of course, still to... To come tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, as we mentioned, we're going to crown the new number one contender for Seth Rollins in the World Heavyweight Championship. Drew McIntyre set the battle, John Cena one on one. And the winner's moving on to January the 1st, 2023, at the Royal Rumble for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. That's coming up later tonight here on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Murphy from the top. Look at the strength of the best kept secret. Superplex to Bobby Lashley. Oh, wait a minute. The World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins is here in Salt Lake City. And after the brawl in the parking garage earlier today, Rollins has locked his eyes on his former disciple. Oh, wait a minute, Lashley, schoolboy. Trying to steal the victory, but Murphy gets the shoulder up. Seth Rollins making his way to ringside, trying to take Murphy's eye off the ball here. Murphy trying to make sure that Rollins isn't the deciding factor in this contest, but a spine buster by the almighty. Murphy's hanging in there, but the momentum of this matchup has certainly just changed with the arrival of the World Heavyweight Champion. Murphy is in trouble right now. Lashley with Murphy over the head. A press slam by the Almighty. Rollins not taking kindly to the assault earlier today. Looking to stab Murphy in the back once again. Yes, turnabout's fair play at the end of the day, but you can't say Rollins didn't have that beatdown coming earlier today in Salt Lake City. But Lashley again laying out Murphy. Now the Almighty, oh no. Submission hold, bit of an Anaconda Vice submission here on Murphy. And lastly, wrenching it in, and unfortunately, Murphy's got nowhere to go. The Almighty takes control of the matchup and is walking away with the victory. Well, Buddy Murphy tried giving this match his all. He was really taking it to the Almighty in the first few minutes, but Seth Rollins making his way to ringside, completely taking Murphy's eye off the ball. And unfortunately, for the best kept secret, it was too much. For Buddy Murphy to handle here tonight, the tap out here in the ring. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, after a couple weeks of bad luck, the almighty Bobby Lashley is back in the winning ways. And whether it's for the United States Championship or the World Championship, I'm sure Lashley's got his eye on gold here on SmackDown. Well, we are back live here on Friday Night SmackDown. Happy Corbin set for action. But ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you that coming up on December the 21st, it is a Raw and SmackDown joint production, a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time of Saturday night's main event coming up on the 21st of December. Going to be a great night of action here in the WWE. But Corbin set for a rematch from two weeks ago against the newcomer to the main roster, Dexter Loomis. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. So it was two weeks ago here on Friday Night SmackDown, Dexter Loomis picked up the win in his debut against Happy Corbin. Both these men coming up short in the eight-man battle royal to crown the United States champion last week. But Corbin and Loomis set to run it back here tonight in Salt Lake City on SmackDown. And of course, coming up on January the 1st, 2023, we are kicking off the new year with a live premiere event of the Royal Rumble. 15 men from Raw, 15 men from SmackDown. Only one is going to punch their ticket to the main event of WrestleMania. Coming up on January. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Again, Corbin attacking Loomis before the bell. 
Referees rung the bell. We are underway. And nobody's waiting for the contest to begin tonight. Tensions are running high in the SmackDown locker room. Corbin looking to get the upper hand over Dexter Loomis. Obviously, Corbin reeling after two weeks of losses over Dexter Loomis. And, of course, the Battle Royal last week. But no rest for the weary tonight. Dexter Loomis attacked from behind by Baron Corbin. And we are underway with our next contest here on Friday Night SmackDown. You like Corbin or not, he is an unstoppable force inside of that ring. A former United States champion is Happy Corbin or Baron Corbin, whatever you want to call him. At the end of the day, he is a brutal fighter inside of the squared circle. But Dexter Loomis, a very interesting character, officially a part of the SmackDown roster due to the draft. Of course, won his debut, as we mentioned, against Corbin two weeks ago. Dexter Loomis really brings a very unorthodox and interesting and Downright disturbing style to the squared circle. A disturbing presence, if that. Nonetheless, here we got a rematch from two weeks ago. Baron Corbin just trying to get his win back over Dexter Loomis. What a night it's already been here tonight in Salt Lake City with all the issues between Murphy and Seth Rollins boiling over. The brawl earlier today, Seth Rollins then gets a measure of retribution, costing Murphy that matchup moments ago against Bobby Lashley. You gotta imagine Murphy's gonna be hell bent on getting his hands on the World Heavyweight Champion again in the near future. Again, still to come tonight in your main event, we're gonna crown the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship when the franchise John Cena goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. And the winner is gonna meet Seth Rollins on January the 1st for the, at, at the Royal Rumble for the World Heavyweight Championship. Can't wait to see that matchup later tonight. Can't wait till we kick off the road to WrestleMania on January the 1st, a live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. And I'm sure both of these men, Corbin and Loomis, would love to be one of the 15 spots that are gonna be representing Friday Night SmackDown in the Royal Rumble matchup. Loomis looking to pass out Corbin here. Corbin, a couple of shots to the rib cage, just enough to let any man get the breath out of any man, I should say. Corbin unloading right now, trying to avoid disaster and avoid another loss to the mysterious Dexter Loomis as he face plants Loomis on the canvas below. And just like that, the momentum shifting into the corner of Baron Corbin again with another shot and again sends Loomis down. Really brawling with Dexter Loomis throughout this contest here. Corbin trying to make a statement tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And of course, last week on SmackDown was the All-Star kickoff live from Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. What a night it was. A pay-per-view-like event on Friday Night SmackDown where he, of course, crowned the new World Heavyweight Champion in Seth Rollins, the new United States Champion in Mustafa Ali. An extraordinary matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship, which saw Ricochet defend the gold against Tyler Bate from NXT. Dexter Loomis has got that stranglehold in on Baron Corbin again. Almost the same submission that we saw Lashley tap out Murphy two moments ago. Corbin trying to avoid disaster. Not enough just yet to keep Baron Corbin down, but the situation almost handing Loomis another victory over Corbin tonight on Smack. Wait a minute, wait, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, buddy Murphy, Seth Rollins, they're back at it in the parking garage. The brawl has ensued yet again. Murphy obviously furious that Rollins cost him that matchup against Bobby Lashley moments ago, and Murphy sending Rollins into the side of that car. Well, things have boiled over here in Salt Lake City tonight. We mentioned tensions are running high, especially after the All-Star kickoff last week. First the assault in the parking garage earlier. Rollins cost Murphy the matchup moments ago. And it looks like these two men have met up in the backstage area again. Well, Murphy's on the damn roof of that car and he dives off on Seth Rollins on the concrete. My goodness. Absolute chaos as we finally cut back to the action inside of the ring. Corbin and Dexter Loomis still going at it, but Murphy and Rollins, the brawl has ensued yet again. Something's got to give between... Oh, wait a minute here. Corbin with the end of days. So much action to call, so much action to keep up with. Corbin has got the win over Dexter Loomis tonight. My goodness. Well, Murphy and Rollins issues may have taken out of it for a second, but we cut back and Baron Corbin 
has got the answer to defeat Dexter Loomis. And I'm sure that attack earlier on in this matchup didn't do Loomis no favors. Corbin with the victory tonight on SmackDown here in Salt Lake City. Here is your winner, Happy Corbin! A win for Baron Corbin as all the SmackDown superstars are looking to punch their ticket to the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup on January the 1st, 2023. Well, the action continues tonight on Friday Night SmackDown with some cruiserweight action between Santos Escobar and Grand Metal League. Plus, Mustafa Ali goes one on one with Alpha Academy's Otis. Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar gets the win over Grand Metal League in cruiserweight action. And the United States champion, Mustafa Ali, picks up the W against Otis tonight on SmackDown. We are back inside Salt Lake City, Utah for Friday Night SmackDown. And a former champion in his own right, Apollo Crews, is set for action. Apollo Crews coming up short in the eight-man battle royal last week to become the United States champion. Things haven't really been going the way of Apollo Crews as of late. It was also on the losing side on a tag team matchup at Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night. And now in the lead up to the Royal Rumble, everybody trying to build momentum on both Raw and SmackDown. For the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup, Apollo Crews looking to get a W tonight and possibly throw his name on the hat for January the 1st, 2023. But Apollo's got his hands full with a motivated show-off. Dolph Ziggler set for action here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Well, Dolph Ziggler also coming up short in the Battle Royal last week, but Dolph Ziggler a few weeks ago went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Seth freaking Rollins in a World Championship qualifying matchup for the All-Star kickoff. Rollins defeated Ziggler on that night, and then afterwards used Dolph Ziggler to send a statement to everybody in that matchup for the world title, and quite frankly, the entire SmackDown locker room issued a beatdown on the show-off before our very eyes in San Antonio that night. So Dolph Ziggler, I'm sure, has got Seth Rollins in the back of his head, as does Buddy Murphy, as does Drew McIntyre and John Cena. Seth Rollins really building a long list of enemies here on Friday Night SmackDown, but Ziggler got to stay focused. Looking to get back in the winning side of things tonight with a matchup against Apollo Crews here tonight on SmackDown. Remember before the WWE draft, it was back at Survivor Series that Dolph Ziggler challenged then Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa to a matchup for the gold. Ziggler came up short on that night as well, unfortunately. So Dolph Ziggler, similar to a lot of people we are seeing here tonight on SmackDown, just trying to get back in the winning ways, trying to build momentum as things have been on the bad luck side of things for Dolph Ziggler as of late. And Apollo Crews as well. So with the Royal Rumble approaching on January the 1st and the road to WrestleMania kicking off, who is going to get their hand raised tonight on SmackDown? Talk about Seth Rollins a lot tonight due to his issues with Buddy Murphy and of course the number one contenders matchup coming up next, but Seth Rollins really building a long list of enemies. The number one contender for the world championship gonna be decided in moments when John Cena and Drew McIntyre lock horns. Of course the issues with Buddy Murphy boiling over tonight, really all day here in Salt Lake City. We just saw that brawl ensue in the middle of that Baron Corbin and Dexter Loomis matchup in the parking garage yet again. Not only knows what's gonna happen next between Buddy Murphy and Seth Rollins, something's gotta give between those two men. And we talked about Dolph Ziggler. I'm sure he's got Seth Rollins in the back of his mind as well. And looking to just be a pawn in somebody else's story, a stepping stone for somebody else's career. Ziggler's wanting to carve his own path yet again here on Friday Night SmackDown, even at this veteran status in his career. Right now, Apollo Crews in control of things and an insiguri there to the show off. Apollo Crews, a guy who's got all the tools here in the WWE, is a former United States champion, former Intercontinental champion. Absolutely has what it takes to be a champion yet again. Will that be the case here as a member of Friday Night SmackDown on the road to the Royal Rumble? And Ziggler, look at that, nice DDT by the show off. We'll talk about somebody who's had a decorated career. Look no further than Dolph Ziggler himself. Off the top rope with an elbow right to the heart of Cruz. 
Not enough just yet, but Dolph Ziggler, a former United States champion, former Intercontinental champion, misses for the super kick there. Apollo misses for the pump kick. Ziggler goes behind, now got Cruz in control. Dolph Ziggler's been the world heavyweight champion, he's been to the top of the mountain. I'm sure he would love another run at the World Heavyweight Championship, a title that he near, that he held, excuse me, nearly 10 years ago here in the WWE. But still, even at this point, Dolph Ziggler's career better than ever is the show-off. We know Dolph Ziggler's always looking to prove himself inside of that ring. And Apollo Crews, roll up there, Dolph Ziggler able to get out of it. And Dolph most recently here in the WWE, earlier this year, was the NXT champion went down to the black and gold brand return to the main roster after SummerSlam and has been on the hunt for championship gold ever since. Apollo Crews trying to make sure that Dolph Ziggler is not building momentum off of his behalf here tonight as Crews again going for a suplex with Ziggler with the counter. Again with the elbows, Dolph Ziggler trying to fight back into this contest. Crushing leg sweep by the show off. Both in control of this matchup. Into the cover goes Ziggler. Will that be enough to keep Cruz away? Not just yet. Of course, we've been talking about the Royal Rumble all night long, but don't forget, December the 21st, a Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday night's main event going to be taking place in Columbus, Ohio. It'll be a great night on the road to the Royal Rumble. Live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time. On December the 21st, Saturday night's main event. Mark it on your calendars. What a night it's going to be. And then January the 1st, 2023, we're kicking off the new year in the biggest way we know how. The Royal Rumble event, which will be another live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Can't wait to get to the Royal Rumble. Can't wait to get to Saturday night's main event. But what a matchup we got before you here at Salt Lake City tonight. Olympic slam by Ziggler into the cover on Cruz. Apollo gets the shoulder up. Let's see if Ziggler has what it takes to put Cruz away. Or did he throw one of his best shots at Apollo right there? And now sends Cruz to the outside right in front of Cruz's henchman, Commander Aziz. Ziggler's gonna watch out there. I believe made eye contact, eye contact with Aziz, took his eye off the ball, and Cruz took advantage. The benefit of having the backups in the corner of Apollo Cruz, Commander Aziz, keeping his eye on Dolph Ziggler, allows Cruz to get back in control. This matchup, pop-up power slam. What a maneuver by Apollo Cruz. Like him or not, an impressive specimen inside of that ring. Not enough to keep Dolph Ziggler down just yet. Here comes Cruz again, keeping the momentum going. Goes for the clothesline, receives the chop, misses Ziggler, zigzag out of nowhere. Cover on Cruz. Dolph Ziggler picks up the victory tonight on SmackDown. What a win for the show off. Threw everything and a little bit more at Apollo Cruz in this matchup. Cruz held on as long as he could, but Ziggler saw an opportunity and took it right there with the zigzag. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. Back in the winning ways is the show off. Aziz pissed off at ringside. But no matter what, there's only one winner walking away at Assault Lake City tonight, and that man is the show off, Dolph Ziggler, with the win tonight on SmackDown. Breaking news sign for next Friday night. Murphy and Rollins are set to settle the score once and for all. And get this, it's going to be a parking lot brawl next week on SmackDown. And coming up on December the 21st, a 5 p.m. Eastern time event live premiere. Raw and SmackDown bring to you Saturday night's main event. And that, of course, is happening on the road to January the 1st. 2023, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night. Another live premiere coming your way from Raw and SmackDown. The Royal Rumble. The road to WrestleMania begins on New Year's night. It is main event time in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
Friday Night SmackDown, the road to the Royal Rumble continues, and it's time to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! The visionary Seth Rollins won the World Heavyweight Championship last week in Las Vegas by last eliminating John Cena in the four-man elimination matchup. John Cena is chasing number 17 in his legendary WWE career. He may have came up short last week at the All-Star kickoff, but will January 1st be the night that John Cena accomplishes that milestone in his career? But John Cena, the franchise player of the WWE, has got to get through one tough Scottish SOB tonight. That being Drew McIntyre, another man highly motivated after coming up short in the World Championship matchup last week. No matter the man, Seth Rollins is going to have one huge target on his back come Toronto on January 1st at Royal Rumble. The franchise is locked and loaded as we are set for your SmackDown main event number one contenders matchup to determine Seth freaking Rollins' opponent for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble event. And here comes one fire-breathing son of a gun, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, who's been itching to get back to the top of WWE all year long. Is this the moment that he's been waiting for, the opportunity that he's been clamoring for? And his opponent, from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre obviously chomping at the bit to get his hands on Seth Rollins and get an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. But remember back in Las Vegas last week, who eliminated McIntyre from the four-man elimination matchup? That would be his opponent tonight, the franchise John Cena. After a hellacious battle, it took not one but two five-knuckle shuffles dead center of the ring to put Drew McIntyre away and knock him out cold in that matchup. McIntyre's been falling short, unfortunately. A lot of the big match situations he's been involved in this year, a real roller coaster 2022 for Drew McIntyre. But will he become the number one contender tonight and head towards 2023 on the right foot? Number one contenders matchup. Here we go. Underway your main event. John Cena, Drew McIntyre, a chance at the world championship, and Seth Rollins is on the line. What about the news we found out moments ago? Seth Rollins' road to the Royal Rumble not getting any easier. Him and Buddy Murphy going to settle the score once and for all next week on SmackDown in a parking lot brawl. What a fight that is going to be between Seth Rollins' former disciple, Buddy Murphy, and the World Heavyweight Champion himself. Of course, the title will not be on the line. The next time the big gold belt will be defended will be in Toronto on January 1st against one of these competitors. Both these men got to be feeling the effects of the competition the last number of weeks here on SmackDown. Both of them had to qualify, of course, as did Rollins, as did the other member of that four-way matchup, Bobby Roode, for that World Championship matchup last week. And then, of course, both of them competed in that four-way four matchup in Vegas. This is John Cena's third week in a row here on SmackDown in the main event. So you got to wonder if the toll is starting to rally up for John Cena as McIntyre heading to the top rope here. Uncharacteristic for the big man, but any means necessary to qualify to face Seth Rollins. Off the top rope with that tomahawk chop it out. McIntyre beating the hell out of the franchise. Drew McIntyre, highly motivated tonight, wants that opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. McIntyre's competed for the World Championship before, prior to last week, back in 2011, very early on in his WWE career. McIntyre's been at the top of the mountain. He's been to the WWE. He's been the WWE Champion, excuse me. As we've documented, 2022 has really been a roller coaster year for McIntyre as he gets sent over the top rope by Cena. McIntyre's found his way in opportunities to 
become number one contenders and to have championship opportunities. But unfortunately, the majority of those matches have not gone McIntyre's way, has not been able to quote unquote, win the big one throughout this year. It's really documented Drew McIntyre's story throughout 2022. So what a way for McIntyre to kick off the new year on the right foot, if he can meet Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. All remains to be seen, or will it be the franchise John Cena who is taking control of this matchup? Cena already a 16-time WWE World Champion throughout his career. He's chasing number 17 as Cena comes off the top with the axe hammer. Again, Cena came up short. It was the final two men in, the, in that four-way elimination matchup last week in Las Vegas. Cena and Seth Rollins battling out for the World Championship. And in the end, Seth Rollins, whether you like him or not, clean as a whistle, pin, C pin John Cena's shoulders to the mat inside of the ring, walking away from the all-star kickoff, World Heavyweight Champion. And Cena off the top, what a leg drop. You want to talk about uncharacteristic, look no further than that. Any means necessary to become the number one contender here tonight. Got to throw caution in the wind, even when you might not want to do so. But a chance to become the World Heavyweight Champion is dangling in your face tonight. Cena back in control of this matchup after McIntyre was dominating the first few moments. And there's Cena eating the canvas there. McIntyre, wait a minute, look at this. Kick to the gut, McIntyre, future shot DDT. And is that all she wrote? Not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up. McIntyre one inch closer to the Royal Rumble, but John Cena survives yet another moment. And now Cena back up. Look at that. Sweeps the legs out for McIntyre into the pinfall. McIntyre gets the shoulder up. Just like that, McIntyre with the future shock DDT. Cena might have survived, but you know the damage is done so far. And Cena's got to be feeling a little bit of sense of urgency after McIntyre just whipped out one of the best tools in his arsenal. John Cena's days. McIntyre drops him with a clothesline. And oh no, Cena's in dead trouble here. McIntyre's in the corner. Claymore kick hits flush. Into the cover he goes. No, Cena at two and a half. Drew McIntyre hits the Claymore kick, but it's not enough to keep the franchise down and out for good. And McIntyre's got to be racking his brain right now. McIntyre, I'm sure he's got mental anguish and mental fights that he's been battling in these big match situations. We documented it and McIntyre's problems throughout this year. But Cena now in control. Five knuckles shuffle the move that spelled the end of McIntyre's all-star kickoff last week. And will it spend the end of McIntyre's Royal Rumble hopes and dreams? No, McIntyre gets the shoulder up and the fight continues here tonight in Salt Lake City. What a main event we have for you here tonight on SmackDown. A chance to battle. Seth freaking Rollins for the World Championship hangs in the balance. Cena survives the future shock DDT as well as the Claymore kick. McIntyre survives the five knuckle shuffle, the move that plagued the end of his night last week in Vegas. Now McIntyre back in control at least for a moment on John Cena. Another kick to the gut. McIntyre going for the future shock DDT for a second time and he hits it. And that's got to do it. McIntyre into the cover. John Cena survives again. McIntyre staring into the eyes of the referee saying, you got to be kidding me. That had to be three as Cena's now sends McIntyre over the top rope and the fight spills to the outside. What a main event tonight on SmackDown. How the hell is Cena still in it after two future shock DDTs plus a Claymore kick on top of it? There's a reason John Cena is a 16-time world champion because there may be nobody in this business ever who's got more heart and soul and a will to win than the franchise player himself. McIntyre sent him to the corner. John Cena now sending him up to the top rope. There's the franchise got in mind. Remember that super attitude adjustment that he hit on Finn Balor two weeks ago. Looks like he's going for a superplex right now. 
takes out the big man, the strength of John Cena, muscling up the Scottish warrior, and now into the cover. McIntyre survives again. And Seth Rollins has got to be watching this matchup with sweat dripping down his forehead. He's got Murphy next week in a parking lot brawl, which could really risk some injury for the World Heavyweight Champion. And then he's got one of these two men awaiting him on January 1st at the Royal Rumble. Not an easy road to Toronto, Canada, starting off the new year for Seth Rollins. Now Cena muscles up McIntyre again, slamming him down on the canvas. Cena in control of your main event matchup here tonight in Salt Lake City. Flips off McIntyre, nice shoulder block by Cena. Is John Cena going to get the opportunity to become a 17-time world champion, or is Drew McIntyre going to give the chance to hold the big gold belt for the very first time? Oh, look at this, Cena. Able to muscle up McIntyre, electric chair position, but decides to swing out with it. McIntyre face first on the canvas. Not many people in this industry are going to be able to muscle up McIntyre like that, but John Cena always been a rare breed throughout his career. But McIntyre on the top rope, McIntyre is able to counter, but Cena again beaten down on the Scottish psychopath. Will this warrior Drew McIntyre be able to battle back into this contest or is John Cena in firm control until he's just able to spell the final minutes? And look at this, arm drag off the top rope. McIntyre taking a lot of falls from the heights in this contest. And McIntyre, how close was that? And the crowd here in Salt Lake City appreciating the contest that Cena and McIntyre are putting on right now. I cannot believe that McIntyre Kicked out of that arm drive from the top. How close was the referee's hand from hitting the canvas? And Cena was on his way to the rumble. McIntyre went for the claymore, but Cena dodged it. My God, that would have been it. Cena avoiding disaster just in the brink of time here. And now sends McIntyre into the corner. McIntyre avoids it. McIntyre the kick. McIntyre unloading on the franchise here. What a neck breaker. And the Scottish Warrior is coming unleashed here tonight on SmackDown. And now wrenching it in on the shoulder in the neck region of John Cena. The pressure, the punishment on the franchise. McIntyre will not let up. But Cena's got something to say about it. Takes the world out from McIntyre. And another right hand that would be a knockout blow on anybody. But McIntyre's going to jaw a steal and follows it up with a headbutt. And back and forth we go in this number one contenders matchup. Oh no, Cena's in trouble. Cena goes behind. German suplex on McIntyre. Back and forth we go. Salt Lake City, Friday Night SmackDown. Cena and McIntyre battling out just for the chance to battle for the World Heavyweight Championship. And McIntyre on the top rope. Oh no, Cena hit this two weeks ago. Look at the strength from the middle rope. Attitude adjustment. Into the cover goes Cena off the Super AA. And that is gonna, no! McIntyre kicked out. You have got to be kidding me. No waste in motion from Cena. Locking eyes again. A second attitude adjustment this time in the ring. John Cena's going to the Royal Rumble. What a main event. I cannot believe that Cena hit that Super AA and McIntyre got his shoulder off the canvas. Credit to the Scottish Warrior. But in the end, another attitude adjustment from the franchise spells the end, and Cena punches his ticket to, to the Rumble. What a main event battle here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown in Salt Lake City, an absolute earned victory for the franchise. And now coming up on January the 1st in Toronto, will John Cena become a 17-time world champion as he's going to battle it out with Seth freaking Rollins in Toronto at the Royal Rumble. Thank you for joining us tonight on SmackDown. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.
game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.